Romans 12, 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Brothers and sisters, I want you to let you know that the life you are living now does not belong to you anymore. If at all you are a Christian, what happened on the cross is an exchange. It was an exchange. Christ took your life that he will give you his life. He took up your life, your sinful nature, your old carnal nature, that he will give you his own life. And that is why you can boldly say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. If that is the case, the book of Galatians 2.20 is telling us that we were crucified with Christ and the life that we are living now is no longer we living but Christ living in us. If that is the case, it means that the life you have now is no longer yours. You are meant to represent a government. That's why the Bible calls us ambassadors of Christ because we are here now on earth as Jesus was here on earth representing a kingdom, another kingdom. And so if your life is not promoting the agenda of God, it means that you are not yet in sync with what god is doing and that is why the enemy can have right over you he can come and oppress you because he can still find something of himself in you jesus says that before you can follow me you first of all deny yourself this self is a very important aspect of christianity because that is what leads to so many chaos that is what leads to hatred jealousy envy anger and all malice slander backbiting and all these open doors of course you know that all these things open the door for the enemy to attack you these are arrows shot from the pit of hell and the only way they can get you is because you have not realized that this life is not yours and so, when you are a living sacrifice, it means that the, the things that you would want to do normally, you will not do them again. Except the Spirit wants to do it. Except it is in line with the will of God. For instance, you want to sleep, but God says, no, it is time to pray. Ah, not my will. Not my will. Jesus said, Ah, I would have loved this cup to pass over me, but nevertheless, it's no longer my will. It is your will. So that is the kind of life we are meant to live. We are meant to be a walking sacrifice, a living sacrifice. We are still alive, but we are dead. And not that being is living in and through us. You want to eat, but God comes to say, no, don't eat fast. Ah. Somebody annoys you and you want to retaliate, but the Spirit says, keep calm. Vengeance is mine. You are angry, you want to break somebody's head, and the spirit tells you, sin, but do be angry, but do not sin. <sighs> you discover that your life is no longer yours. If you continue to yield to the inclinations of the spirit, if you continue doing it like that for, for some months and even some years, you discover that uh, anybody that knows me in the past will say, This is not the lady that I used to know, this is not the guy that I used to know. You have become a living sacrifice. Your life is now for others. First John 3, 16 says that he died, he laid down his life for us so that we also can lay down our lives for the brethren. My brothers and sisters, the reason why Jesus has bought you, you have, he bought you for a price. He paid your price and purchased you, redeemed you from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son is so that he can use you as a vessel to reach out to others. In that environment where you are, what is the kingdom of God that you are bringing to the people around you? Our last prayer says, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What is the will of God that you are bringing to the people in that your immediate environment? In your office where you are working, in your yard where you are living, in the school where you, anywhere you find yourself you should know that this life you're living is no longer all about you god can bless you so you, he can use you to transfer that blessing to somebody else but if the blessing comes to you and you hold it then you are no longer doing the will of god you are simply a waste of products in the kingdom of god because we are meant to represent god here that's why we are called ambassadors representatives ministers of god those who are being called and set apart for the purpose of